Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, been reading through a new book by Brother Daniel C. Graves, and it's on Andrew Bar David Urshan. Andrew Urshan, it's where Urshan Graduate School gets his name, that and Nathaniel Urshan. It's where uh, Urshan College gets its name. Absolutely fascinating. Now, I haven't read the book from cover to cover. I've read parts of the book, been writing myself notes in the front, John Bunyan, uh, book of quotes of oneness. Uh, the light doctrine that he believed. I, I knew a guy, he read this book and he came to the conclusion, he's like, man, they're trying to say that Andrew Urshan didn't believe Acts 38 was absolutely essential for salvation. Now in that, I think there's a lot of ignorance of our Pentecostal history. Like G.T. Haywood went through a period where he didn't believe that. Andrew Urshan went through a very long period where he did not believe that. He, he believed in the light doctrine. If you believe, walk in all the light you, you got, that you're you're going to be saved. But then he, the like the next paragraph, he'd say, but you've got to have Acts 238 in all of this. And so I love that uh, Daniel Seagraves has done like a chronological history, all the footnotes at the bottom, just going through. I love footnotes and uh, all the things that he went through. You know, he wrote that famous him sunshine in the in the shadows after his wife had left just amazing stuff and uh so i can't wait to dig into this book i've read a lot of andrew urshan and i've always found him revelatory so i'm, I'm anxious to read more of a history about him coming from persia and i think he says like his nestorian background really plays a role in his later oneness christianity he was in the assemblies of god 1917 through 1919 i think he was thrown out for being oneness <laughs> In 1919, Ian Bell, who was oneness and then became the first superintendent of the Assembly of God, went back Trinitarian, wrote an article about the Urshan heresy or something like that. So, but a lot of fascinating things from history. So God bless. Just making you aware this book's out there. Book exists, and uh, I think you'll like it. It has a lot of good stuff in it, a lot of good Pentecostal history. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.